and welcome back. My name is Ray Apollo, and of course, you know, I love video games, anime, and technology. Today, I'm here to talk more about the technology aspect, but you know, a little bit of the gaming stuff too. Recently, I made that very difficult decision to switch from iOS to Android. And not for the reasons you might be thinking, unless you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I wanted to experience a different type of phone, first of all, but then also be able to use xCloud and Google Stadia on my phone. One of those is already actually a part of a service. One of those is in an experimental phase, but still. So, yes, I switched from the iPhone 11 Pro Max to the Z Fold 2. Now, I feel like this is a huge jump, even though it's technically not super big, but <laughs> you know what is big? This screen. The screen is massive. And I love it. And you really can't understand how big this screen is until you actually have held one or like you're looking at it. Like on, a, on a screen, yeah, you'll see that this, this looks large. That's because it is, but bigger than you think. This isn't a review. This is more just my impressions and why I like it. I haven't had an Android phone in a while. I mean, it's been, last Android phone I remember actually daily driving was the Droid Turbo. And that was a big mistake because that phone was butt cheeks. I did not like that phone at all. I said that I only switch off of iOS if there was a phone that came along that was so different and appealed to me in a way that I felt like it was a big enough change in cell phones that I would switch to it. And then the folding phones started coming out again, but not just the, like a Razer flip phone that where the phone flips open and it's a bigger screen. No, it had to be something different. This phone has a screen on the front in the, what I call the candy bar mode, which is great by the way, because I can use this with one hand and it's fantastic. I, it feels great in my hand. I thought it would be much heavier than it is. It's not actually, but then it folds out and two, the big old beautiful screen that we have here. And I, golly, this is, I freaking love this. I love this so much. It's been easy for me to be like typing to somebody. It's like, okay, I want to type faster. I'll just pop it open and now I have enough real estate for both of my thumbs to move basically as they would on a, a bigger, well, essentially on a bigger keyboard. <laughs> so that's what I like about that. I love it. I tried playing some xCloud on it the other night. Great. Played, what was it? Bloodstained Symphony, Symphony Ritual of the Night. I don't remember the name of that game. But I played that and it was kind of flawless. I popped it up on my bed and just, it worked. I loved that and the screen was big enough that it's like I could just do it. This is what I want from a mobile device and being able to game on as we go forward. And so for me, it kind of checks all the right boxes. The only thing I'm really like worried about, okay, first of all, this phone is really expensive, like stupid expensive, uh, almost too expensive. And the only reason why I bought it is because, first of all, I could, not a flex by the way, but also because I feel I felt like I'm not gonna need another phone because I I own both of these phones. I don't think there's anything that Apple could do with the new iPhone that'll really tempt me enough to buy it, to be completely honest with you. I mean, cause those cameras are phenomenal, that screen is great, that phone just works. So if, until that phone dies, I'm probably gonna keep it. That's just the way it's gonna be. I wanted something different in the Fold, Z Fold, man, that name is dumb too. Z Fold 2 does that. I'm also worried about protection. <laughs> on this phone. The only cases are available right now are like from Samsung, which is like a leather case, which I don't want. And I bought some screen protectors off of Amazon that like I think are gonna work, but I'm not entirely sure. So this phone is such a weird shape that it is making it hard for people to make cases for it. So I'm assuming I'm gonna have to get a snap case, one that snaps on the back, one that snaps on the front. I will say sometimes I'm nervous to use it and it's because I don't have a case or a screen protector on the front screen. I'm not putting a screen protector on the inside screen because it's got its own and I'm really just gonna try and be careful. But I want a case on it nonetheless. Cause it's again, an expensive phone that I don't want to damage. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you have any questions about this phone that I can answer. I'm telling you, I'm having a great time and it's, it's a good phone. This is a solid, solid phone. The first phone intrigued me, but I just knew that it was one of those, hey, this is the very first of its kind type of thing. And I was like, hmm, I'ma wait. And I'm just really kind of shocked that they nailed it on the second try. So I'll be curious to see how the third one looks because this could be something I stick with forever. I mean, I do kind of have to stick with it because it's a 5G phone, first of all. And because it's a 5G phone, I had to get a 5G SIM. So I can't just swap my SIM back and forth between phones and I have to go into the store or go through their online process to activate my iPhone if I want to switch back. So I'm going to be using this phone for a while because it's not going to be easy for me to switch back. 
Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Put it down in the comments. What do you think about this phone? Is it ridiculous? You think Apple's gonna do a phone phone? I mean, there's a Microsoft Duo, and I looked at that, and I just wasn't the same to me. And I wanted this one for a reason. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Talk with you soon. Peace.